Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are aboard the lovely MSC Seascape, and today we're talking about things to do immediately mm. when you get on this ship. Yes, so one of the very first things that you want to do is you want to head over to the dining room that you are going to be in and check and see where your table is and if you like the placement of it. Uh, and one of the reasons why we say that is because we did that and, well, we didn't do that and we found out then that night that the table the tables where we were sitting were really close together and there's not really much privacy to just enjoy dinner together. So we actually found out that you could talk to the maitre d' and they'll change your table for you, which was really nice. Yeah, our table was in kind of a long row of tables. Mm -hmm. And so it's just two people on each side, but there was about six tables in a row mm -hmm. and literally there was only an inch in between them. So it's basically <laughs> like one big community table and that wasn't really what we were going for, mm -hmm. so we we went and asked them, and they put us in the same restaurant the next night, and we had a just a private table that's kind of by itself. So mm -hmm. uh, that is definitely something they can do mm -hmm. if you want that. If you want to be, conversely, if you're all by yourself and you want to be with other people, you could mm -hmm. ask for that as well. So exactly. Everybody can kind of get what they want, but there probably are a limited mm -hmm. number of private tables. So if you want that. Be sure to do that immediately because if yeah. you don't do it immediately, they're going to be gone. That's now, right. <laughs> where they had us go was the maitre d' was hanging out on deck five and deck six in the back of the mm -hmm. ship. So just head that way and you should find them. Mm -hmm. In one of those two <laughs> dining rooms, the Green Wave or La Cala, Cala Jandal, those two, five and six, somewhere in there. If he's not on one, just ask them and they'll tell you he's probably on the other one. All right, second thing you need to do immediately when you get on board is check your internet package. Go <laughs> ahead, log in, get your internet set up. Don't wait till nighttime because everyone else is going to wait till nighttime <laughs> and then they're not going to figure it out and they're going to go down to the internet services and stand in about an hour and a half line <laughs> to get help. Yes. So if you have a problem, you want to know immediately because you go down to that line right away, there's going to be no line. They're going to fix you up, get you all set up, mm -hmm. and you'll be good to go. Exactly. And you also want to get on and try it out before everybody else is on, too, because once that kind of everybody gets on at once, and then it starts to slow things down um, as well. So definitely we saw, we walked past that line the first day Oof. when yeah. we got on board because we were leaving so late. We had so much time to just walk around and enjoy the ship. Walked down there, and holy cow, that line went from the desk all the way up the stairs. It was it was crazy. Now, just as a reminder on the internet, you do need to have a package for every device you're gonna use. So if you want your phone on the internet and you also want your computer on the internet, you have to have a package for each. There's no, I logged off my phone, I'm gonna log on my computer. Mm -hmm. You can't switch devices. What you can do, however, is use a hotspot. So choose carefully. Uh, if you have a device <laughs> that will let you be a hotspot mm -hmm. for other devices, pick that one. We're both running the internet off of our phones and hotspotting to our computers. Mm -hmm. Seems to be working pretty well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have the, the lower speed of the internet packages and it's been okay for everything mm -hmm. we do. We've even uploaded these YouTube videos yeah. using the, the slower speed. So Yeah, so you don't necessarily need the, the surf and stream. We just have the surf one. Yeah, just yep. on the surf. It's a surf and upload for us. <laughs> so, uh, the next thing is going to be, if you're going to be using the therm thermal suite, you need to make reservations for that. Mm -hmm. And that was something that kind of caught us by surprise. Yes, it did catch us by surprise because um, especially on sea days, it's going to be super busy in the afternoons because they do have the hot tub out in the back. And then they also have a, a sunning deck as well out there. And it does get pretty full. So they control the number of people that's in there because they don't want it to get so full that, you know, no one can enjoy any of it. So they do the reservations in order to control the number of people that are in there at one time. So make sure you're making reservations for when you think you might go or at least try to reserve a spot for just the sea days on that first day when you get on. We reserved it. Um, we did get the tip from one of the, the attendants in the thermal spa and said you should definitely reserve your spot for the sea days because those go fast. So we said, ooh, good, good thing she told us that. So we did. We reserved when we usually go and 
we haven't had a problem at all. No, we did try to go spur of the moment one mm -hmm. day though at mm -hmm. about two o'clock, and we were told we couldn't go. Yeah. So, yeah, they do fill up and the, and the, and they will fill up. So that's definitely yes. something you need to do. Uh, next one you need to do immediately is make your specialty dining reservations and mm -hmm. especially for the butcher's cut if you want to have kind of a private table because it's kind of a shockingly small restaurant mm -hmm. and a lot of it is outside so if you don't want to be outside which we don't really recommend for that restaurant it's mm -mm. really nice inside but they for some reason have really big tables and then they have a few small tables very few small tables <clears throat> so for you, just two yeah if you want one of those small tables go ahead and make a reservation for whatever night you want to do it uh, but i would make sure also that you're not reserving that for the night of the gala dinner mm -hmm. because if you haven't seen our video on the gala dinner night it is really <laughs> nice and you're getting uh, really good food on that so don't don't miss that to go to a specialty restaurant because it's kind of is the same thing as yes, a specialty restaurant. it's silly you're paying extra for something you're already getting yeah so uh <laughs> next one is when you get on immediately switch into mm. airplane mode once you get the internet going so that you're off of your <laughs> data and you do not forget mm -hmm. because best case scenario if you're on an international plan they're going to charge you like 10 bucks a day mm -hmm. worst case scenario it's going to be a lot worse uh, yes. than that so. yes because i think most people a lot of times people don't understand that even if you have service on your phone it's not local service once you're on the ship. So make sure that you switch to that airplane mode. I've heard horror stories of people who's like teenagers didn't switch it or whatever. So make sure everybody has it on airplane mode, leaves it on airplane mode. Plus it's actually better to have it that way in order to use the internet package. Right. Uh, then another one you need to figure out about right when you get on is that your drink packages are showing up in the app mm -hmm. now we have the water package so we just get free water or sparkling water mm -hmm. at any restaurant or bar throughout the ship and so we got on we looked at our app and it was showing up in there and that was that was great that was fine mm -hmm. but if you go around and you're ordering a bunch of stuff and it's not your packages aren't showing up right mm -hmm. then you're gonna start getting a lot of bills charged, and you're gonna yeah. have to straighten all that out so best mm -hmm. thing to do go on your app the msc uh, app and figure out that everything mm -hmm. is kind of showing up all the things you've paid for are there mm -hmm. because like i said if before just the same as the <laughs> internet everything is going to get full once people start just realizing right that things aren't right it takes a lot longer yeah. to figure they it out they start getting in those lines at reception at guest services at excursions at everywhere and so you want to definitely take care of that and by water we don't mean just regular tap water they do have tap water that's just free for everybody but we're talking about um yeah. the bottled water they, they're so giving us your, these these or the or waters. the 16 ounce ones you can choose between them it doesn't matter which one you yeah. get because they're all included in your water package so if you want the bottled water like that make sure that it shows up in the app that you have it because um if like you said if you keep asking for it they'll bring it to you but you are going to get charged for it if it's not showing up in your account and another one you need to figure out right away is shore excursions now mm -hmm. if you already know what you're going to do and you've booked ahead of time that's fine but if you haven't the prices are not going to go down on the shore mm -hmm. excursions all they're going to do is sell out so mm -hmm. the best thing to do if you want to do them and you know you want to do them go ahead and book them Right when you get on the ship, there's a shore excursion desk. Go over there. They'll get you all set up. They can explain to you the different options you have mm -hmm. in each port if you want. But we don't recommend waiting because the only thing that's going to happen if you wait is that you're going to not get to go. Yeah. And that's that's not great. So, no. <laughs> uh, definitely no. get on that right, right from the beginning. Uh, a lot of these things are things that other people are going to do or that you will do mm -hmm. eventually but if you don't do them right at the outset you're going to wish you had mm -hmm. and it's going to mean that you're going to not you're going to miss out on a few things right. that you could have done yeah yeah definitely so hopefully these will help you guys out to get you started off on the right foot on your cruise on the MSC Seascape. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, give us a like on this video. And if you have any other questions about things you need to do when you first get on board, make sure you leave those questions for us below in the comments.